How you guys doing? Matt here with Carolina Coops, and in this video I wanted to show you guys a quick, easy, safe way to have us incorporate a 110 AC circuit. So this coop here is our pet house coop, 6 foot by 16 foot run, and right here is the 4 by 6 hen house. Down in the bottom corner here is where the, you would start with the power. You open up this weather tight box, run an extension cord, plug it in, cover up that connection by closing this lid, and then that's going to feed this weather tight outlet right here which is really nice to have on the outside because then you could plug in let's say a fan on the outside if you want to help keep the chickens cool inside the run while they're out here scratching also if you want to add some type of landscape lighting so from there we go inside the hen house The circuit's going to continue on with the BX wiring. Uh, this is like flexible conduit, so it helps protect the wires in case the chickens ever want to try to peck at it. So it feeds right up to here to another outlet, and it's nice to have a 110 outlet on the inside if you ever want to use a uh, you know a heat lamp that's going to draw a lot of power. Uh, also, if you wanted to put a fan in here, it's just another great option. Uh, in this example, actually, we have our poultry butler plugged in to a timer and a photo cell that'll actuate the uh, automatic chicken door. So again, just a quick, easy way that we can incorporate 110 inside your hen house. And of course, the other option is a complete solar system, which you can see in another video. Thanks for watching. How you guys doing? Matt here with Carolina Coops. And in this video, I wanted to show you guys a quick, easy, safe way to have us incorporate a 110 AC circuit. So this coop here is our pet house coop, six foot by 16 foot run. And right here is the four by six hen house. Down in the bottom corner here is where the, you would start with the power. You open up this weather tight box, run an extension cord, plug it in, cover up that connection by closing this lid, and then also if you want to add some type of landscape lighting. So from there we go inside the hen house. The circuit's going to continue on with the BX wiring. Uh, this is like flexible conduit, so it helps protect the wires in case the chickens ever want to try to peck at it. So if and that's going to feed this weather tight outlet right here, which is really nice to have on the outside because then you could plug in, let's say, a fan on the outside if you want to help keep the chickens cool inside the run while they're out here scratching.